I'm like, damn, these things are good. Holy moly donor shop. When I What's going on, everybody? You saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. Before we get into this, man, make sure you guys go check out the link in the description. Your boy Tops finally put out a car video, man. I was going to use the RT Tops, but I, there's no way I could get it back. So... I went ahead and just used one of my other channels. It was a reaction channel, which those videos are still up there. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out, that's old school tops. But yeah, man, go check it out, man. Link in the description below for that video. And if you could subscribe to it, at a thousand subscribers, I will be giving away a um, modification to somebody's car, man, that's out there, man. So um, thank you very much for the love and support. Make sure you guys go check it out, man. It's in the description below. I'm excited for it. What's going on everybody? If you're new here, it's your boy Tops, man. We back with another banger for you guys today, man. Today we got some early heat, man. Some early, early heat. And this shoe is kind of interesting, man. It's a Jordan 13. Most probably it will sell out, okay? I think they will sell out. And we'll get into my thoughts and opinion in a bit, man. But if you guys are new here, yeah, man. Subscribe to the channel because your boy in 2021, I'm telling you, I ain't playing no games, man. I ain't playing no freaking games, bro. With all that out the way, man, let's get into it, bro. All right, guys, so we got the box right here of the Jordan 13. I don't really know the street name to these right now, man. I think they're called the Sailfish, Starfish at, at this at this point. I, I think they're called the Starfish, I don't know. But I was able to get my hands on this. Shout out to the plug, Krez. I love you, boo. I appreciate you always looking out for your boy. All right, man, so we got the box right here, pretty pristine condition so shout out to her once again i appreciate you but here is the tag to the box right here then we got the air jordan 13 retro white starfish black size 13 suggested retail is 190 for these things man these things are 190 retail pretty dope in my opinion here's the box your typical your typical jordan 13 box right here these things are hitting nice man i really like this sh i really like the, the og boxes the boxes is definitely Definitely dope in my opinion especially when they're coming pristine just like this where I could just put them away and you know do what it do as of right now man this box does not have any stamps or stickers on them um, we got the uh, typical white baking paper and then we got the like Skip likes to say, even though they're early, I get a because I got to do my taxes. You feel me? Uncle Sam, you already know, try to hit me over the head at the end of the year. So we got the paper and as you guys can see, no stamps, no stickers inside the box. Majority of the time, they don't come with no stamps, no stickers on these shoes. So we'll see what they hit info, man. But yeah, definitely here's the box, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of what you guys came here to see for and give you guys my thoughts and opinion about this shoe, what I think about the shoe, and therefore, all right? And I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion. And trust me, you guys been getting that a lot lately. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I don't like the shoe or that I like the shoe when I really do like it or when I really don't like it. But I'm gonna tell you guys, hey, I like the shoe. So, um, you know, like I said, man, I'm going to give you guys my honest truth opinion about the shoe. All right, let's go ahead and let's put the box back and let's get into this, to this shoe right here. All right, guys, before we get into the shoe, man, I also want to bring up, I am doing a raffle on the black and sail white colorway of the Air Jordan Off-White 5s. And we're actually going live tonight. By the time I drop this video, uh, we'll be going live right away. So uh, if you guys want to participate in that, please join and bam we got these joints right here in hand man these shoes are scheduled to come out i believe january 16th if i'm not mistaken if they weren't pushed back or anything like that to me to be honest with you at first i was like hmm, i don't know man the orange i don't know if it's for me I still don't know if it's for me, even though I got the shoe in hand. But one thing I did notice is the leather quality on this is amazing, bro. That's one thing I'm going to tell you guys is the craftsmanship on this shoe is freaking amazing, man. I'm going to give you guys B-roll shots throughout the video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Super plush, buttery leather on these things, man. Like, bro, like this thing, I'm just amazed off of it. And I might just keep the shoe because of the fact 
how good the leather is bro like the leather on this is like holy shit dude like the leather on these is serious bro i can't say it enough that's my opinion on them i think the leather on these joints are amazing bro they're freaking amazing look at that tumble on the side panel there and then if you look over to your toe box man super freaking plush bro and it's soft too it's not like hard leather I'll, I'll take out the shoe tree so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let me just pull it back real quick, pause, and so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Hold on a second. Look at that, you see that? Super nice, super, super nice. And as you wear them, bro, they're just gonna like, I, I don't know, it's just, I was just like, holy crap, hold up. Do we got the shatter backboard in a, in a, in a Jordan 13 silhouette? excuse me bro these things are nice bro super plush bro like i'm like damn these things are good holy moly donut shop when i first got these in hand i was i was just impressed bro i thought it was a super dope idea the jordan brand went ahead is like yo all right let's let's go ahead and let's hype it up real quick you know the shatter backboard will name them the same colorway and everything and we'll do our thug this on these um the tongue bro super the leather is just amazing bro like oh my god like they did a really really good job with this shoe and of course you got your typical uh suede or 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 uh, um new buck whatever you want to call it that long hair material they put in the back there as you guys can see right here uh super dope in my opinion here's the medial side they did a really good job, man. Look at that leather, bro. Oh, I'm just amazed about the leather. And if we go to the outsole here, man, the outsole here is just where it's at. I'm glad that they made these, you know, with the predominant black uh, area, man, where the shoe won't get as dirty. You know, just these pods right here, and that's about it, man. And then the fact that they gave us the green on this pod right there, super dope. Carbon fiber, predominantly black with white speckles. Super, super dope. I wonder if there's any type of quality control on this shoe. And guys, what I mean by quality control is like the amount of glue stains there is throughout the shoes and stuff like that. And kind of a way to see it is with a black light. So I recommend you guys to get one of these guys. You could get a, a, a really cheap one from like Amazon and stuff like that for 10, 15 bucks. But um, if you get yourself a high end one, they'll last you quite a while. You know, this is something that I, that I use by New Cow. Uh, New Cow is a brand. You could probably find that on Amazon as well. Uh, this one's like high potential and stuff like that. But I like to hit it with the black light to see what pops with it and all that stuff. It helps me with authentication when it comes to me buying in the resale market because I do buy a lot of shoes in the resale market to do waffles on. So um, as of right now, only slightly bit on the edges of the shoes. And like what I mean by the edges, like right around these corners here. Um, I think that's pretty well. So you see that on the 13s. That's one of the things I do look at. All right. You see this, how it goes from down here, it goes up. And that's a lot of things that I notice on the Fufu Gazes that sometimes they don't get that right. Okay. Um, I do have another pair here, a size eight and a half. Just to show you guys, there is similarity. The shoe does not change. Uh, regardless of what a lot of people say I just want to show you guys this just so I can explain you my facts and the stuff that I do find when it comes to these sneakers and coming for authentication and all that stuff yes I do get these from a mom and pop store that that pretty much bags door them to me and you know they hook me up man I you know I don't pay too high high but I pay up there man you got to pay to play in order for you to get early stuff you know what I'm saying obviously I do this because I create content. So when I create content, I rather pay a little bit of money for a legit pair, um, as you guys can see here. And whatever I can get my hands early, I'm gonna do it, man. It's for the sake of content. Definitely. One thing I wanna show you guys is that the insoles are orange, all right? The insoles are orange uh, right here, as you guys can see. And it's not a, a, a complete vibrant orange, all right? It's not a complete vibrant orange. As you guys can see, my, my uh, camera's picking it up, but you can see, bam. And then this is what my backside is looking like, all right? And I want to show you guys, this shoe is a lot smaller. As you guys can see, it's a lot smaller. You can see the difference, all right? See the difference, it's a lot smaller, right? But if you look here on the toe, 
is the same pattern. They don't change. I'm telling you, it doesn't change. The patterns don't change, all right, whatsoever. Just, be, just one shoe has a little bit more material than the other. As you guys can see, look, it does not change. If it, if your, if your, if your shoe is authentic, they shouldn't change from another authentic pair. There sh shouldn't be any differences. If it is, is a factory flaw on that particular shoe. Um, so if I was to hit it with the black light in the bottom, which majority of the time uh, they come with stains, okay. And I feel like these stains right here, you can't tell too much in the video, but there's stains, there's a stain right here. And I feel like that's a sign of like the way I authenticate sneak. You guys see, it's all the same. They're the same like toe box leather quality, right? Ain't no things changed. The only thing, the only shoe that I noticed that had that kind of differences were the, um, damn, what's the name of that Jordan one? Um, they had that, the navy blue, the royal uh, royal blue on it. They had um, the UNC blue on it. Damn, what's the name of that shoe, bro? The uh, Jordan 1, Jordan 1 uh, Obsidians. The Jordan 1 Obsidians. That was the only shoe that I found in my hands that I caught multiple pairs of that had a leather quality different than the other. I don't know what it was, but I come to figure out since having multiple pairs in my hands, they were made in different factories like one pair was made here in this factory because of how many they released that shoe was out there like they made a crap load i wouldn't be surprised if they'd say they made eight hundred thousand of them things because they they probably did there was a lot and i'm they rushed that shoe if you look at your production date is a very short period of times on that production date so those are the things i pay attention to when it comes to these sneakers but no more of the jibble jabble man let's go ahead and let's get this banger on foot, man, that you guys been waiting for, man. Is y'all ready? Let go. Well, all right, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the on feet of the Starfish Air Jordan 13, man. I think this shoe is a banger, to be honest with you. Now, before we tune out this video, I want to tell you one thing. Don't be surprised if this shoe goes up in the market. We'll make another video about that, but I just want to let you guys know that. Don't be surprised if it does. Why? You already know. That shatter backboard colorway. And once they gave that outsole, that orange vibes to it, look what happened to the 3.0s. The Jordan 1, 3, I know it's a Jordan 1. I'm not going to say this shoe's going to go up to 1,000, but it's going to go up there. I see it in the round three, the high threes, maybe fours, eventually at one point for this shoe right here. Because this is pretty sure this is a shoe that probably won't release again. So with all that out the way, man, I appreciate you guys. It's your boy Tops, and we out. Peace.